Howdy there, folks. I'm Gene the Pink Panther. Welcome to part 24 of Pokemon Red. So now that we're done with Celadon City's gym, I figure, you know what? We should try and go to Saffron City. The gates were closed the last time we tried back around Vermilion City or so. But maybe we can do it now. Whoa, boy. I'm parched. Huh? I can have this drink? Gee, thanks. Uh, wait a minute. That, that was mine. <laughs> that was mine, you fucker. <laughs> I was gonna drink that! Oh, well. If you give the gate guards water or anything to drink, it can be lemonade or soda, uh, they'll all let you through to Saffron City. Which is probably the second biggest city. It's a pretty important part. It's a very yellow color. Being evil makes me feel so alive. <laughs> oh, that is like my favorite just random rocket. Uh, in PC in this game just because of that line. <laughs> oh, I love it. Anywho, though, now that we're in Saffron City, I figure, you know what? We should go ahead and try and take out the gym after we get done looking around town a little bit. Apparently, Team Rocket has infiltrated Saffron City as well as Celadon. <laughs> and they can exploit Pokemon around the world with the power of Sylph. This massive corporation. Ooh, a psychic's house. Wonder if he can give us the winning lottery numbers. Wait, don't say a word. You wanted this. Uh, actually, I wanted the lottery numbers, but okay. <laughs> he gives us TM29, which contains the move Psychic. This is, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say the best psychic type attack in this game. It's kind of a toss-up between a move we'll get later, but I'll save talking about that later on. Anywho, though, we're going to head over this way and find a rocket. Who is taking a snooze. <laughs> oh, bejeebus. Uh, I don't know how you fall asleep just standing in front of a door, but okay then. <laughs> there are a lot of houses, several that we could go into, but no. Team Rocket has to block the doors bunch of fuckers. <laughs> huh. Saffron belongs to Team Rocket. Evidently, they own Saffron City. I wonder why they don't call it Rocket City, then. Saffron City, shining golden land of commerce. Pi said he'll take this town. Well, luckily, the gym's out... Whoa. The there are two gyms. Well, let's talk to this guy. Get out of the way! You're in the way, not me! Don't yell at me! <laughs> so, because we can't get into the gym on the right, I guess we'll take on this one on the left, even though... Even though it's smaller. Much smaller. <laughs> so, this is the fighting Pokemon gym, I guess you could call it that. Uh, flying types and psychic types are your best friends here. Not what I am doing, though. I do not recommend what I do here, but... Anyway. Hoo-ha! You're trespassing in our fighting dojo. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. So yeah, it's a black belt. Who has the karate chopper. Uh, I haven't actually said this yet. I've always been curious about Machop's ribs. If you look at its ribs, it, it has these weird little lines. These little bumps squiggle thingies, kind of. And I've always wondered, what's the deal with that? Are they just its ribs, or what? I don't know. Anyway, we send out Gloom, who evolved in the last video, in case you missed out. Squadish is no longer a Squadish. It is now a Gloom. So, I guess it's a Squoom. <laughs> I don't know. I like Squadish better, but anyway. Uh... We're able to take out Machop relatively easily, because there's not a whole lot new about Machop. Apparently it knows Leer, which... whoop de doo <laughs> I mean, it goes well with the type of attacks it's gonna be using, but... Still, it's gonna have Karate Chop and Low Kick and... I don't know what else. Maybe Focus Energy. Which, uh, raises critical hit rate, by the way. In case I have yet to say that, which I don't think I have, because we don't see it very often in this game. Anywho, though, we're now into Mankey. We haven't seen Mankey since Nugget Bridge. At least, no, we haven't seen Mankey since then. As I said back then, it is a fighting type. It is 
much stronger than it was back when we fought it originally. Uh, the move Focus Energy really couples well with moves like Karate Chop, which already have a high critical hit chance. And it, it just, it, it can hit pretty tough. It can hit pretty tough. Huh. I really loved, uh, Mankey in the anime slash cartoon. At least when it evolves, I loved it. I, I, I always got a kick out of that, but... I'll talk about that in a second. For now, we're just gonna paralyze Mankey and acid it to death. Huh. Like I said, nothing's really changed. Nothing's really changed for Squattish other than it evolved. It is now technically tougher. But, yeah. Oh, and it looks different. <laughs> That's about it. But, with Mankey down, that takes us into... Into... Primeape. <laughs> Primeape is the evolved form of Mankey. It is... Pretty tough. It has really high attack. Uh, and it's moderately fast. It's not like super duper fast, but it's moderately fast. In the cartoon slash anime, in the episode where Mankey is actually there, it steals Ash's hat. And then, I, I forget what Ash does. He does something and like throws a rock at it or some shit like that. And then Mankey gets super pissed off and it evolves into Primeape. And it just, it starts chasing them around all over the place, and it's, uh, it's hilarious, and it just, it beats living shit out of anything that gets in its way. Somehow, Ash actually manages to catch it by the end of the episode, and even after he catches it, the thing fucking hates Ash and kicks his ass anytime he sends it out. It's hilarious. I, I really love the episodes where Primeape's in it. Anywho, though. We beat the bejeebus out of that black belt. He was nothing. Nothing, I say. And I am good. I don't have to show it. I'm... I, I just am. I'm the Pink Panther. Huh. Anywho, back into the Karate Chopper. Uh... Um... I don't think I finished explaining. Eevee is a normal type Pokemon, which... Fighting type moves are super effective against normal for... And they hit for double damage. This means that Eevee is going to get knocked out really freaking quick if I actually try to use him in these battles. So, I don't recommend using Eevee to fight these guys unless you've evolved it. But, I haven't. It's still an Eevee, so, you know, don't use Eevee. And I love this appearance of Machoke in this game. Oh, but Jeebus, look at it. It just, it looks so... Look at its face. It just, it has this really... Look on it. I love it. I love it. It's so goofy, and it just, it looks so stupid, but it's just hilarious. I love it. It's nothing compared to Drowsy, though. Psychic type is the way to go for this gym, because, you know, psychic moves are super effective against fighting. I've said this plenty of times, and... Ooh, ooh, Drowsy's gonna evolve. It's gonna evolve. Come on, Drowsy. Damn it, Drowsy. Anyway, Psychic is super effective against fighting. It really kicks fighting Pokemon's ass because fighting type Pokemon, in addition to being weak to Psychic, they all have really low special stat, which affects their special defense. Meaning, moves such as Confusion are gonna hit even harder. So, Psychic is definitely the way to go. It is definitely the way to go to take out these fighting Pokemon. Oh, something that they change later on is, uh, as you can see here, if, when Primeape uses a move such as Fury Swipes, as it just did, and it gets a critical hit, that critical hit is for every single attack that hits, because Fury Swipes is one of the moves that hits two to five times when you use it. They get a critical hit, and it's on the first one, it's going to be a critical hit for the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and it, it can really fuck you up really bad. They changed that later on, which I'm kind of glad. It, it wasn't super freaking bad in this game. It's no rap. Rap is bullshit. I hate rap. But it, it can still rough you up. Arr, take your shoes off! <laughs> okay, then. I thought the goal was to kick me out. I'm not taking my shoes off if you people are going to try and throw me out. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah, though, I, I I really love Mankey and Primeape. They're they're some of my favorite fighting Pokemon. Not so much stat-wise. Stat-wise, there are definitely better fighting Pokemon. But just how they are, the type of personality they give these Pokemon, I, I really like it. Oh, and you have no idea how freaking satisfying that is. We're, we're gonna see, like, the most satisfying confusion kill in this video. I love it. Like the enemy killing themselves with because they're confused. Uh, the the most satisfying one that I can think of off the top of my head is in this video. <laughs> I love it. Anywho, I send Eevee back out. The reason I'm doing this is so Eevee gets experience, because Eevee's having a bit of trouble leveling up. It, it just is. It doesn't know any really good attacks. So it's having a bit of a bitch of a time leveling up, and... This is a very a very solid strategy that I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned it. If not, you guys are going to hear it right now. Because I've already covered how to fight these things. What you do is you just, you, you put the Pokemon you want to level, but can't really fight and defend itself into the first slot. And then you switch it out before anything happens to it, and then it gets EXP. Not a lot of EXP, it only gets half, because it splits EXP between Pokemon. But it still gets EXP, so it's effective, since, and since Eevee can't take on fighting Pokemon, it's having a hell of a time leveling up, at least for me it, it is. I figured, you know what, we'll go ahead and we'll switch. Now the problem with this strategy is that once you switch it, um, say the enemy has multiple Pokemon. Once you switch Eevee out, then you have to switch it back in to get EXP on the next Pokemon, and then it is susceptible to an attack. Which is why I didn't switch it back out for Primeape. I did it for the Mankey right before this one, but I, I I knew not to do it with Primeape. Anywho, though, this Primeape is now down. All that remains is this gym's leader. Oh. I give up! <laughs> These black belts are a bunch of weenies, man. I mean, they're just a bunch of weenies. You wait till you see our master. I'm a small fry compared to him. Grunt! I am the karate master! I am the leader here. You wish to challenge us? Expect no mercy. Whoa! Oh, good God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, this guy's definitely uh, the toughest in this gym, though, as he should be. He's the leader. But this is Hitmonlee. This is actually probably one of the best fighting type Pokemon in this game, if not the best. The only one off the top of my head that I think could top it is a Pokemon named Machamp, which we won't see for a long ass time. But Hitmonlee here knows the move Double Kick, which always hits twice. It's not like the move Fury Swipes, Fury Swipes, where it's two to five hits. No, Double Kick only hits twice, but it hits a shitload harder than Fury Swipes does, so you want to watch out. That being said, Hitmonlee also knows the move Meditate. I, I don't know why he's using an X attack, but anyway. Meditate does the exact same thing that the X attack does. It raises attack one stage. So now Hitmonlee's attack is up two stages. It, it makes it hit much, 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 much harder. As you can see, it it's gonna KO Gloom here. Nothing I can do about it. It hits way too hard with that. Anyway, though, we're going to go ahead and send out Golbat, and I'm pretty sure we can fuse Ray. Golbat is still super fucking fast, by the way. It's very hard for anything to outrun it. And oh my god, that is so satisfying. Right there, the thing was barely below halfway knocked out, and it knocked itself out with confusion. That was so satisfying. I loved it. But that takes us into Hitmonchan, the, I guess you could say, opposite, the brother of Hitmonlee. Hitmonchan is actually not a very good fighting type Pokemon. I've, I, I'm i very much aware of this. That being said, I like Hitmonchan better than Hitmonlee. Cause, just because of the boxing gloves and the way, it, the way it looks and everything. I've always liked Hitmonchan better than Hitmonlee. Hitmonchan's whole thing is punching, whereas Hitmonlee's whole thing is kicking. Hitmonlee learns the better attacks than Hitmonchan. But I'll probably talk about that later on. 
Anyway, though, Hitmonchan's really nothing to worry about. It, it can be tough, but it's not enough to take. It, it's nothing compared to Hitmonlee. But with that, we defeated the gym leader. Huzzah! Indeed, I have lost. But I beseech you, do not take our emblem as your trophy. In return, I will give you a prized fighting Pokemon. So yeah, we can choose between either Hitmonlee here, the one that I would actually recommend choosing, but I'm going to choose the other one, Hitmonchan, the one that I actually like better. Hitmonlee's definitely the tougher of the two, though, so I recommend Hitmonlee. Anywho, we're, we'll be seeing Hitmonchan in part 25. I'll see you folks next time.